little, little like micro spacing or timing things that I just missed. Um, like bad, imp I wanted to do like a, maybe a forward air and it did like a nail or something, right? So like small little things that he ended up capitalizing that made it look like it was further away than it was. But those like slight like micro mistakes, right? And I don't really want, like, they weren't like mental mistakes, they were like input mistakes. I feel like those went the correct way. Uh, we would have seen a little bit closer game two. I, I would have never beat Robert. I'm not going to try to say that. Oh, Fox Robert. I think game one is more indicative of where my Fox would play at like more precise inputs uh, than game two. But yeah, but one problem with your Fox, it's like the problem with if I try to play Pika, our recoveries are not creative yeah, at yeah. all. <laughs> like we don't know what to do. That's what happened at like GT. I lost the GT21 and uh, I basically just missed one tech, right? Like. I, I had the tech read and I was just off by a little bit, like a couple frames, and I missed the hit and he just like teched it and then um, he just jab grabbed me. It's, like, you need to do damage for like two stocks. I brought back like a 3 1 comeback, was about to just zero death him, missed like one of the techs, and then he just jab grabbed, threw me off stage, and he just read my recovery really well. Like, I don't know how to LD recover yet. <laughs> just practice for a couple more days. Yeah, probably if I have like six hours of, of Fox play, I'm pretty sure I could, I'll be like, I'm already best Fox Midwest because I'm better than Andy Kids. Um, <laughs> But, you know, I think like with eight hours, maybe maybe six or eight hours of total Fox gameplay, I'll be as good as low, probably 12 be as good as LD. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like, you like the headsets? Yeah, these are nice. Oh, they're so great. I don't hear the game audio, I just hear you uh, it's, uh, turn so it down. So I, I was having a problem. OBS Studio was stuttering. Like, uh, that Elgato was stuttering. Um, and that's where I had it all set up where you could hear game audio and like all the fancy stuff. Oh, but the so audio is kind of delaying. So I had to go back to classic because it was like unwatchable. No, like it would, it, the video would play nice and smooth and then it would just freeze and then skip ahead like half a second. Yeah, I don't know. That, yeah. that was the same problem my computer had with uh, Studio, but Cactus is run fine. Yeah, I know. And, and mine's been fine until today. Um, I think I blame Studio's I, still in beta, right? No. No, it's full release now? Yeah. They, uh, I, bl I blame the new update I downloaded over the weekend. Stupid updates. Oh. There, there you go. Robert's missed tech right there. Accidentally yeah, dash attack. Very rare for him to miss that. Make him, make him a mistake. He's very precise. He does play very mechanical, but it's like, he, he's like, it's kind of like a Revan, but like a Pikachu version of Revan. Uh, it's not like he does anything super creative or new, but he does exactly what he needs to do with a very, he basically does like maps, to like he's like optimized the beacon play such that like his window of vulnerability is so small that it's very hard for anyone to find it. Um, it has like, it has vulnerabilities and we've seen kind of Bark exploit that, but it's a very tough, tough Pika to get through because he's just like Revan. He's like a Pika version of Revan. Revan just looks really flashy, like over style yeah. with his platform movement. It's just kind of like wasted tech. Yeah, I know, geez, he still lost the link. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a crazy set, though. Yeah, I was, I was, Beast was a really good set with that. It was great for the EU scene to just see Isaiah, you know, Isaiah's link versus, you know, Revan's Kirby. I feel like that really was very encouraging to a lot of those players out there, very motivational. <laughs> uh, Isaiah's going to Gommel. Uh DK destroys Kirby Box. It's like, <laughs> literally, DK has all these rig tools to outrange Kirby in every way. As DK should never be close enough to get hit by Kirby, but you're at a distance close and far enough away, you can still hit Kirby. So if Kirby's close enough to hit you, you're too close to Kirby. But DK can hit Kirby at a distance that Kirby can't hit you. Dude, didn't you see the, uh, the video Lorenzo posted? Yeah. You just get a grab and then Kirby dies. Yeah, the just because to be continued. I don't even know this. I don't know where that's from. It's from some anime, JoJo, something. Yeah, I don't, I don't watch manga. But I mean, you know the song, though. I know the song, yeah. I just yeah. don't know what the. Do we continue? Bark looks sharp there. <laughs> Looked like really good control. I don't know. So I guess. Bark Robert's sharp. had some. Robert has, like, some, I think, mental blocks against. Some of these higher players, uh, he can right, obliterate he well. all these people at these all these different tiers, and then there's just like tiers at, at like his level. He's, I feel like he's in a tier of his own. He beats like everybody pretty badly that he goes against, and then the people he loses to though, he loses to very badly. Um, and he's only losing to these top players. You know, uh, he has a mental block into Clubba too. Although I think, I think he should be beating Clubba, but it's some of these mental blocks. 
That's what happens with these players. Sometimes it's a, it's like a style thing. Yeah, he's used to probably online styles, which I feel are more refined, uh, as opposed to like these freeform kind of. Like Bark plays, Bark's not like combo heavy. A lot of like, such so like the thing they always talk about, like console players. They're not really like standard combo heavy, um, but they play more of like these. I guess more variety in their neutral decisions, um, or their spacing and timing. And I feel like he's just not used to that, so that's the style that Bark kind of takes him off guard with. Because it's like, I don't know, I feel like console players' neutral is less flow charted than, uh, than online um, neutral neutral players. And I feel part of that might be because of the, the frame lag, you know, you, you kind of have to play these very flow charted neutral games simply because, you know, you, you get like three or two frame drops or whatever it is, and I don't know. They all, they all know their online players all know their combo as well, but. Their neutral's pretty static. See, I kind of forgot that since it was a holiday, we would get some more people. Yeah, we got a pretty good turn on 12, uh, and we didn't have Daniel or Protag. Yeah. We are, after this week, we are moving back to Wednesday yeah. for the summer. That'll be good. We'll get uh, Moon Shoes good. and Chin Strap back. I think Dank Tank will start coming. Yeah, I think the city can make that. LD still can't make it on right. the weekdays. I think he works a late shift. So he doesn't yeah, he's like nine. three. He's like three to eleven. Yeah, yeah player sixty-one. Yeah, Roberts doesn't want to die. I mean, who does? No, he doesn't. Ooh. Maybe he does. One sixty-nine. Why doesn't Robert want to die? Well, people, they just say, ah, I'm okay, I'll die. <laughs> not Robert. Bark just keeps hitting him with <laughs> up airs. <laughs> and up airs is like, it's like, a, it's an okay spacing tool, but it doesn't ever kill. No, and because I killed like Jigglypuff at 100 something. But because like, but because Bark couldn't get a kill at 100. Oh god, over 100 get Robert up. Robert taking, taking the lead. Double over 100 get Yeah, up? I don't know. Big mistake by Robert. Man, tech, yeah, I guess tech he figured, club. I guess he figured he, like, he could catch or. Bark didn't see the first one coming. Bark's thinking, there's no way he's going to do two get up over 100. So. Yeah, you can't do both. I feel though they were probably in They were definitely on purpose. A hundred percent. Yeah. Half the time you see players do something, it's like unconventional. Like, what were they thinking? 99 times out of 100, it's not because they were just like choosing to do that. It was, you know, a mistake, like an input error. Yeah, so it's like it's like why wouldn't it's like you know let's say you had like a free like you know I don't know they just something yeah like you had like a free forward tilt forward earth with Yoshi and then you do forward tilt up air and it's like what were you thinking why would you do up air it's like obviously you want to do forward air yeah you just had some input error you know maybe stick jump there I, Isaiah jump Isaiah times out of a hundred it's an accident yeah 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 <laughs> but that Isaiah team. Isaiah is the only car only player that I really ever see and I'm like. He, I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but he's the only character you, or the only player you can really say like any decision they make that seems unconventional isn't certainly a mistake. It's sometimes it is a decision. Yeah, I'll pretty much assume everything he does is on purpose unless he like grabs his link on a side plat. I'm like, no, no, that was an accident. Because <laughs> no one ever means to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to like a plat drop aerial, like, yeah. up, you know, grab it. or you know, jump, jump aerial, like, jump squats is too slow on me. Robert's uh, keeping this close. This is not game one at all. That was way better. Mark did bring the percentage back. Drop, pot, drop up air. What are you doing, Mark? Mark's not technical. He's not flashy like me. You can't do pot, drop up air. <laughs> you just have to play more DK and practice your pot, drop up airs. That's easy. DK, DK. Fox is like he's actually super easy to play. Like I feel like Fox is like any all these Fox mates are complain about Fox is because that just proves that they're really really bad. <laughs> I feel like I don't know playing Fox today. Like I made some mistakes, but I've only been playing him for like four hours. You know who doesn't complain about Fox? LD. LD. <laughs> Yeah, last stock. Fox is such good hitbox. He's so fast. Like Fox can rising forward air, short hop off the ground, hit Pika rising, and then hit Pika falling. Like it's just, it's a hitbox. It just covers the entire ground, and he goes Woo. in the air. Hard read. It's so stupid. Oh. Up 
there. He's dealing. Oh, Bark didn't. Bark didn't chase with the second up air. I feel like he could have got another up air there. Interesting that downer hit. It's very common. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, uh, that's it. Game, but the back air is going to change. All right, Bark wins 2-0. Good comeback by Robert in the second game to make our close. He had a chance there. We'll see LD Bark rematch from MVP, rematch from winners final.